Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is an update to Auto CDSL. This is an application that authorizes the CDSL using the TPIN uh, every day using the AWS Lambda. So the Sirota team has updated with an TOTP mechanism in which you have a code that expires within a particular time interval in which you can use it to log in to the kite web. So earlier uh, this mechanism was done using kite pin which is a static pin that you have to remember and enter during the login time. Now this has replaced with a time based OTP. Now auto CDSN does authorization DD in the morning time with the help of uh, AWS Lambda. So it does at around 9 am and it does it automatically. So this application was based on a static pin. Now if you are so, uh, someone who is not aware of what auto CDSN is, is, it's an automated application that authorizes this process. Now why you should use auto CDSN is because we can save around 24 hours or a day in, year, in your year. Now a typical uh, OTP authentication can take around 6 minutes. Now if you compute this for an entire year, it's like a whole day. So we can simply save one day or simply spend the time more productively. So that was the main motive behind this application. So if you are someone new to my channel, you can follow this uh, tutorial. So uh, here you can see a demo how it is being done. So this is an uh, complete uh, past transaction uh, or past results for each day in which uh, how the OTP is being authenticated. So here you can see the entire steps to follow. So uh, if you are a beginner, you might be feel intimidated because of the uh, processor. But, but this is a one-time uh, one setup. So it will be interesting for you as well if you are uh, someone new to this field and uh, there is a lot to learn also in this uh, part. Now uh, you can follow this tutorial here in my channel. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do consider subscribing. Now let us get into how to in include the two factor authentication in the auto CDSN. Now uh, there is only a minimal change in the current existing file that is okay. So uh, I have uh, updated the code uh, in order to account for this. Now uh, the first step is uh, you should navigate your uh, kite uh, settings uh, profile uh, security tab uh, in order to enable this uh, two-factor authentication. So uh, this becomes mandatory after the September 13th. So now uh, go to this uh, your profile and click on enable TOTP. At first uh, you will be asked to enter the uh, verification code that has been sent to your email so after that that is being done you will be able to see a qr code now below the qr code you will be able to see an option to copy and security key now uh, if you haven't already installed google authenticator app now uh, most of the applications are based on two-factor authentication so obviously you will be using this but if you haven't you can install this application now once you do that you can scan this QR code so after this process uh, the application somewhat looks like this so it has an OTP that is being generated every 30 seconds so uh, you have to enter this TOTP uh, in this profile after click on uh, clicking on the enable so you will be requested to enter the TOTP and the current password and click on enable which enables the TOTP based authentication now the important step here is to copy this uh, secret key now once you copy the secret key uh, since there is an update in the uh, auto cd lambda function now uh, here you have to see the video then only you will be able to understand what i am uh, mentioning here so uh, you will be you should be able to navigate to the lambda function if you have already done it so uh, go to this lambda function and uh, this is a python application that i have written so you have to replace this code uh, with the latest code so you can navigate to this uh, github repository in which the code is present now this is a updated code so i have added the same link here so you should navigate to this link and 
click on uh, click select all the code within this with the control and replace it within the lambda function now obviously you can read the code uh, what i have written i have commented uh, possibly every part so that uh, you will be able to understand it now once you update it here uh, then go to navigate to the configuration tab and go to environment variables then you should add the kite secret key which we have copied here now here is an example of how it should be done now if you go to the configuration and environmental tabs you should be able to add all these parameters within the lambda uh, the aws lambda itself now once the application is run all these uh, credentials will be fetched from these values now these values are only specific to the user and there is no security breach here in this help the application just reads this value and perform this uh, request with the help of selenium so uh, once you have updated all these variables now you you can click on deploy option which is available here now once you update the code here you this uh, button will be uh, enabled now you can click on test now uh, the, in this process it will automatically navigate to the kite website and enter your uh, username password and also dynamically generate the TOTP and fill the um, corresponding section in the website now once that is done uh, it goes to the CTS and page uh, click on generate uh, tpin and uh, from that an email will be sent to your uh, email right uh, consisting of the .tp uh, you will be also getting a message so right now I got a message I think maybe you can hear that sound so uh, that OTP is being extracted from that email and again submitted to the CDSL page now that is a process in the background that is happening now you will be able to see a success result with the TOTP that has been generated so you can see this is a TOTP at, uh, at the current instant now this this will change every 30 seconds so uh, that code is being uh, that TOTP is generated based on your secret key now uh, there is a bit of an a mechanism behind how TOTP is being generated which is called an HMAC generation uh, RFC 5708 it's an algorithm standard algorithm that uses your secret key in the current time uh, current time and it helps to generate this now you can see there is an OTP uh, it has been successfully generated you can you can see uh, this OTP in your email as well so it is a 608085 uh, so that is safe so that is a small update you have to do uh, which is so uh, which is very easy once you set up all this uh, now that's all update from my side so do let me know uh, any feedback or you have facing any trouble now if the if you found this application uh, useful in your investing journey please do consider donating uh, to me so that i can make more contribution to the open source so that's all about do share and subscribe to my channel thank you